Right, so repeating myself from a moment ago, um, I don't have my logo and the chat window on screen right now. I can read it, I can see you in front of me, but the actual thing you're seeing won't have it because I might want to use this footage for stuff later, so I turned all that off. Just so you're aware. But anyway, welcome to the remake of Alone in the Dark. I have really been excited for this. Ever since I heard about it, um, about a year ago actually, I've been going through the series, at least the original trilogy and New Nightmare, all of which you can see on the Ash Place channel, in anticipation, because like, I've always been curious about the Alone in the Dark series, considering it basically invented survival horror games as we know them, and yet isn't like a household name the same way that Resident Evil and Silent Hill is. And I can see why from the games I played, but I still did really enjoy them from a historical perspective. And now this is a thing. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Um, it's a pretty long game. There's two campaigns, one per character, each of them at least eight hours, according to the developers. So we're in for the long haul. I mean, I'm not gonna do it in one sitting, obviously, but there's gonna be a lot. So uh, I hope you all are ready for Alone in the Dark. It's gonna get spooky. New game. We're gonna play it completely standard. What's this? Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can probably turn it off. Oh. <laughs> well, I see we have some inspiration from the first game already. Yes, first playthrough. Never played this one. This just came out today. Okay, then. You wanna, you wanna move out of the road there, buddy? Waylon Jones, better known as Killer Croc. One of Batman's hardiest foes. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure his name is Waylon Jones. Alone in the Dark. Which, by the way, regardless of the games, how great is that title? <laughs> He's possessed. Oh. As in the devil? Something like that. No, it's in the fucking Easter Bunny. What do you think? This is a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Ooh. Practically every member of the Harwood family is driven mad before they grow old. That sounds terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced... That's David Harbour, by the way. I can't remember the name of the other actor, but... ...in his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And wow, they're okay. also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? Most likely in his head from what you're telling me. Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? <laughs> it's a good band name, yeah. That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. Deteriorating is melanch no melancholy, that is. Hardwood because he isn't worth getting. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just... Funny. Wouldn't feel funny, so funny cool. man. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Ah, the 1930s what or 20s. Exactly I forget which are decade. What are going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right, in we go. And now I pick a character. Like I said, we have a uh, Edward Carnby, 
David Harbour. Oh, hey. So who was it then? Jodie Comer. That's right. So just because he's been the main character in all the other games I've played, I'm going to start with Edward. But I wholly intend to play both campaigns. So don't worry. Don't worry, Emily. You'll get yours. But uh, we're going to be playing as Edward for now. Boom. He doesn't look anything like the Edward from the original trilogy, but then he didn't in New Nightmare or in uh, 2008 either. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Well, we have an open gate. Wait here. I'll go around back. I'll be right back. Chapter 1. Does chapter 1 have a title? No, it does not. Okay. That's how we aim. Zoom in. Okay. Crouch. Just checking what I can do. There's a menu. Nice. Investigation. Let's see here. Edward Conby, PI. Louisiana State Board of Private Investigator Examiners. License number, whatever the fuck. Uh... Decatur Station, I don't know, Orleans, okay. Oh, now it's fully installed. <laughs> okay, fair enough. What the? Okay, I don't know what any of this means, but sure. Lanyaps? I don't know that word. I don't know what that means. But okay, we can move around. Let's, uh, what is, hold on. Okay. Oh, it's a flask. Right, there we go. Look for a way inside the house. Working on it. Let's see, why is this on? I mean, if this is on, then clearly someone is around, right? Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Let's just keep going. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. Yeah, no shit. Did you bring a flashlight of any kind? Or do I have to find one? Ugh, fun. Okay, there's something back here, I think. Can I get here? Hello. Now what do we got here? Oh. Flashlight. Clue. What do you mean it's a clue? And kitchen garden key. Key item. Nice. There we go. Now I can see shit. Okay. Did I miss anything over here by any chance? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. If you've seen me play horror games before, you know me. I always gotta inspect every little corner, because, like, I know there's gotta be some tiny, insignificant thing that changes an ending or something. So... <laughs> Sorry, seemingly insignificant thing. Okay. Moving right along. Oh. Well, somebody's making noises. Ah, very recent deal of you. Come on out. Is that you, little King Trash Mouth? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, a shed. Can I open it? Nah, I'm not getting in there. Okay. Don't think the flashlight is necessary right now. Uh, let's see. What is all this? Hello. Lovely statue. Oh. Well, would you look at that. Hmm. What do we have down there? I'm gonna need some kind of rope and hook to get that out. So that's a bit of a problem. What? Do, oh. Let's see. Do-do-do-do-do. So does yes. he gradually draw a map or... 
Hold on. Derseto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry art carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Conby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first. Okay, so that's just gonna recap what we're already doing. Fair enough. I still don't have a map. I thought maybe he would, like, generate it as he went, but clearly not. That would just have been too helpful. Ooh. Wow. Impressive. Let's see. What do we got? Yep. It's a big one. And I have a feeling I know what it's supposed to represent from the old games. Now, what do we have here? What's this? Housekeeper's key. That probably opens the shed outside. Or a bedroom of some kind. Huh? What? What? What what? What did you react to? Hmm. Should I step back outside and try the key? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the key real quick. If he will even go outside at all. Okay. There's the shed. Nah, I'm not getting in there. No, I probably need like a gardener's key or something. Alright. Let's wear the shot. Let's continue looking around in there. Mm-hmm. So what's down here then? What's this? Ah, that's where the housekeeper's key goes. Okay, let's just real quick see what else we got here. Nope. Spiral staircase. Hello. What do we have in here? Pistol bullets. Fuck yeah. Now I can shoot all the mentally ill people. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see what else we got. What else we got. What else we got. Nope. Can't open anything. Okay then. Let's check out what the housekeeper is hiding down here. Let me in. Ooh. Welcome to Dorsetto. Thank you. Find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. The hell do you mean? I I deleted that game earlier today. Oh well, whatever. Oh, probably because the um. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, I found a flask. Probably because the disc is in the console still. Oh well. Oh har har. Let's see. Don't want to open too many doors right out of the gate. Hello. Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. Who? <laughs> I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Oh yeah, that's bound to end well. I'm skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. An interesting take, That's for sure. I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. You'll be surprised to know how many demons are basically so just gods from other religions that they were like, nah, that's a bad guy now. So We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. 
the world will be blessed soon again. Only the oh, hey, we have a we have a bot in the chat. Always fun. To your demands, let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. Huh. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madam. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, That's a very good question. You must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you. But Why does this keep going? <laughs> I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please. Leave my store. A goat without horns. Huh. Okay. Interesting to be sure. Alright, what else we got? Hello. More bullets. Yay. Now I can rain more death on the populace. Eh, doesn't seem like there's anything else going on, so I'll just head on out. see here. Ooh, fancy kitchen. Well, maybe not fancy, but certainly nice. What's in there? Gimme, gimme. Hey! Another flask! Don't mind me, I'm just a private investigator stealing all their booze. Should we be concerned about why a mental institution has bullets lying all over the place? Nah, it's probably all good. Let's see here. I don't want to open too many doors before I explore everything that's already open. Just to make sure. What do we got back here? Okay. Wait, have I been here? No, I have not. Oh my god. I'm already getting lost. It's already a lot of stuff to keep track of. Hi, Beezy! And welcome to the Alone in the Dark remake. Don't mind the chat not being visible right now. That's on purpose. I might want to use the footage for something later. Okay, I guess we gotta start opening doors and looking around. Let's see here. Ah, pantry. Okay. Hmm. Streetcar ticket. Can I check it out? Nope. Lanyaps are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge, and sometimes even more. Oh, is it gonna be like dev diary stuff, or...? I need the key. Nope, this is locked. Whoa! Okay, apparently I have a dodge move. <laughs> more bullets. Funny place to keep them, but I'll take them. What do we have here? More bullets. God damn, I'm getting armed. <laughs> okay, so we can't go there. That's locked. I'm probably fucking up terribly by picking up all this ammo now. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna need it desperately later when I have to go here for real. Is this just another part of the kitchen or... No, this is something else. Interesting. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay. A decorative plate, you say? Okay, so... Yeah, I can't go past... Oh! Wait, can I... Huh. I guess I need another tile to do this. I can't pick anything right now, at least. Hmm. Oh, I hate sliding tile puzzles. Yeah, it looks an awful lot like I can't do anything with that yet, so... We'll come back. Whoa! Okay, I think we just found a glitch. 
Oh, oh, to the upstairs. But let's wait a second before we go there. Let's check out this over here. Ooh, hello. Lots of meat. Yum, yum, yum. Rat poison. Oh, that's reassuring that that's just lying there next to the food. What's that? It was rat poison, my guy. <laughs> Hold on. Just gonna slap the meat a couple times. <laughs> what do we have in here? Another flask. Well, you can always go to my channel and watch me play the original friend, uh, the original trilogy. Um, long story short, alone in the dark walked so Resident Evil and Silent Hill could run. It basically invented um, third-person 3D horror games. But uh, yeah, the franchise never really became like a household name, so I'm really curious about this remake. And where it's gonna go. They call it a reimagining more than a remake. So let's see here. Now we can go upstairs. You don't really need to know anything other than it takes place in like the 1920s, 30s. And the original game was fairly um, Cthulhu inspired. Nope. Bathroom. What do we have here? Nothing useful in there, apparently. What is that? A science magazine? Huh. Okay. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot to see here. Right on. Where did I come from again? Uh. Hold on. There's the stairs I came up. Good. Sorry if it's a little dizzying that I turn the camera around this much. I'm just trying to make sense of the place. Okay, let's not check that yet. Two doors. Mm. God damn, everything is key. locked around here. I need the key. It's almost like I'm playing a survival horror game. This is definitely somebody's bedroom. What do we have here? Lottie's diary. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jim. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Let me know if the sound is too low, by the Sandra way. Is upset that I didn't of the game. The latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one later. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless uh -huh. it comes up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. All right, give me a moment and I'll turn it up a bit. Of his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, give me a moment to turn the volume up just a tiny bit. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully this will be better. Okay, what else was in here? What you got for me? Another flask. Boy, I am getting crunk up in here. Locked medicine box. Oh, is this all the voodoo stuff? Hmm, well, no. But there's a cross. Oh, thank God, a map, finally. <laughs> Alright, and that marks... All the locked doors too, so that's great. Glad to see that. Okay, interesting. Where am I right now? 
Plaza key. Oh, Piazza key. Nice. Or pizza key, whatever you prefer. Can't use that here. So where is this Piazza? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. I always like exploring a new location like this. Hold no, to open the map. The map is updated with information about the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Hmm. Nope. I need the key. Ah. Here we go. Ooh. All right. This is where we where we uh, were before. Hold on. Just gonna see if there's anything on this floor first. Okay, it's dark up here. It's wedged shut. Yep. What do we have over here then? Private, no entry. Mm, looks important. Indeed. Piasta. <laughs> That's a funny way to say pasta, but sure. God, this place looks fancy. Wonder how old this building is. Key. Okay, don't have a key for that. Boring ass paintings though, but hey. If this thing comes alive at some point and attacks me, I'm gonna be very cross. Thanks. Hey Emily. <laughs> Sorry, it took like 20 minutes. What are you doing? <laughs> Are you? Oh, now you oh, show up. Pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. She clearly does I mind. Do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Oh, hello. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that hot work glue. That's right. Oh, these all I'm seem Emily like Hartwell. lovely people. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. She hasn't told you who he is. How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hart? We seem to be in New Orleans, judging Edward from Carby. the voodoo and the uh, private friend and the French stuff. Enough! Whoops! All Sorry. Of you. Get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave. Also the it. alligator in the beginning. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, <laughs> right? You wait, can't do this, you dude. Can't. Like, <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be discreet. In okay. the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Wow, she Excellent. Thank you, folded Mal. like a paper airplane. All right. Well, he sure knows how to get his way. So, it would appear there's only one bed. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can pick up any clues. What do we have here? God damn it. Another freaking sliding box puzzle. I, don't, I hate sliding puzzles so much, but that one looks easy. So, that's something at least. Oop. Watch out where you're waving that thing. Wait. What? I didn't even have my gun out. What are you talking about? Okay. Maybe they meant my penis. Oh, hello. This looks cheerful. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I'm just sculpting skulls.
I see the book, by the way. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Ooh. Can I open this? Nope, that's also locked. Everything is fucking locked in this house. What's up, Emily? Finding anything? Why won't let me talk to her? There we go. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Like the one literally right there? I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, riveting conversation. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold Whoa, buddy. of my room. <laughs> Counting the days That's sensitivity training for you. Spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see the crazy voice acting is back. Oh, he struggled for his life. Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places fantasy and delirium. Even paint. That's going to be the first single on a deteriorating Melancholy's uh, first album. <laughs> Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? Bleak Necropolis, that that's track two. That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. Oh, that's how I talk of pages. Okay. Whoa, we're going to be listening to a lot here. Oh. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Oh, interesting. While the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. All right, now we know where those lead. My past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Ah, nice. Let that was one of the games where you had to use voodoo talismans to uh, transport to places. Despite having told me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed I'm sorry, none Jackson. of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way. That the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear. And that his he thigh specifically. By his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. The people of DeSetto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. <laughs> Unless this I can find him, guy. Mr. Wait. I'm this sorry. I know he's supposed to be like clearly distressed, Even but his ago. voice I think is just very funny to me. <laughs> Mr. Waits or Beauregard? Sure. The dark man offered me a prison. And I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. Oh, what's all this? That's probably for the clock. All right, well. Painted tile, key item. A painted wooden tile. The motive suggests this being part of a larger picture. So probably over here, I would imagine. Pop that fucker right in. Oh, thank God. It's not like a typical sliding puzzle. This is super easy. Great. Now, what do we have here? Hey, uh-huh. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. 
Oh, help me out here, will you? This painting is just too heavy. Or whatever it is. It looks like a painting. No. What is it? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Well, there's a frame, but with nothing in it? Hmm. What do we have here? I don't know about you guys, but I'm like already engrossed in the atmosphere. I'm enjoying oh, wow. this quite a bit already. Woof. That's striking. He looks upset. I want to save this one. I just remembered I forgot to flush. Reflection of the power of something. Okay. All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Huh. What just happened there? Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, I'm coming. Hmm. That was mildly mysterious, I would say. Miss Hartwood. Uh-oh. She gone? Emily? Oh dear. Didn't take long for things to turn to shit, huh? What's happening? What the hell is going on? Where am I? Oh. Yeah, this this looks different somehow. Okay. Investigate the corner store. Sure. Well, things got immediately weird, so that's fun. Oh. All this stuff here before? Ah, tiny skeleton man. I like him. Still can't open that. Okay. The music immediately got creepier. That's interesting. Can't go in there. Oh, that's a lovely picture. What about here? Nope. Oh, I just can't get in there. This broom is too heavy. This definitely seems like slightly different, a slightly different layout than what we got here. Hmm. This painting's torn up. Are we in an alley? We sure are. What the fuck? Okay, where's... Ah! Uh, there we go. Oh. I'm sure that's a friendly fellow. Hello? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. 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 I would like to move. Shit! Ow! Ow! Let me shoot, goddammit! Ah! Fuck! Fuck! Give me time to aim, Jesus! Die! You son of a fuck! I'm shooting it like point blank, why is it not dying? Oh my god. Drink a flask, quickly. Oh, time, time to reload, apparently. Shit! Ow! You fuck! Will you die? Will you fucking die? Oh my god, I'm immediately getting my ass kicked. Die already! Woof! Okay. That cost me so much of my ammo right out of the gate. And quite a bit of my health. Evidently the game does not fuck around. <laughs> I just don't understand why I didn't hit him a couple times there. I <laughs> He was like taking up my entire field of view. Okay, better hope I find some more ammo soon then. <laughs> that did not quite go how I hoped. A 
thought I was being all careful and shit, but clearly not. Okay, do I have a map right now? Nope, your map is of no use here. Wow, that's an ominous thing to say. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ammo acquired. I can't go that I way. Why? Okay. Don't suppose any of these doors open? Nope. What the hell is going on? Good question. Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap R2 to quickly throw the item. Hold R2 to aim. Are there enemies here? I don't see them, but okay. I guess that was just to teach me it can be done. Yeah, I know that. I know how to sprint. I guess it wants me to do it. New flask, good. More bullets, even better. Very cool, very cool. I guess that's the corner store. Johnny the Conqueror. What a name. Yay! <laughs> Got anything else back here? I can't go that way. Can I at least check out this newsstand? Nope. Again, I'm really just trying to check out everything. Make sure I don't miss something important. So, apologies for running around seemingly at random. Daily Post. Your hometown paper. Anything there I should know? Nah. Oh. Oh, that's another throwable. Okay, fuck it. Get in the store. Wait. Back alley. Bullets in the trash. That's how we like it. A pipe. Oh, sweet. Okay. Didn't know I could get melee with Burns. Oh, dear. Shit. Um. I would like for you to die, please. How do I switch to a melee weapon? Oh! Okay, cool. That's actually kind of nice. You're just defaulting to your melee weapon. Unless you press the aim button and then you switch to a... Okay. That's gonna take a little getting used to, but sure. Let's get in the store now. I'm getting a little tired of these moss zombies. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you'd call them. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Let's get in. Hello? What's going on in here? <gasps> Don't let them get inside, Conver. They're not the good guy. Hello, sir. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy what? did this. How? Do you mind putting down the weapon? Oh, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would thank a man, Compare. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in the way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? Uh -huh. That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, Compare. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Well, you're certainly Thanks. helpful. I'll have a look. Can I can I have that thing you're carrying? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Hello. Batiste keys. Yep, I'll take those. There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Mrs. Jackson's place in the French Quarter. Then there are two belonging to Deserto. Dorsetto. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay, good to know. A preserved reptile. Oh, okay. Oh, right. That was for the goat without horns thing. Find Miss Jackson's place to learn more about Jeremy. 
Okay. Got some bullets. What else? What else is in here? We're clearly in some kind of voodoo shop. There's gotta be more useful stuff. Hello. More bullets for one. Hmm. Oh. Sh can we chat? Buddy? You wanna come along? Nah. I'm gonna stay here for a while. Do you mind not shining that right in my eyes? <laughs> it's kind of rude, to be perfectly honest. Can't open this door. That sucks. More bullets. Okay, then. Miss Jackson's place. So, how do I find that? Not down this way, I take it. Nope, still can't go there. Okay. Where's Miss Jackson at? Where's her place? Hmm. Let's see. There's a light down there. Oh, that's a traffic light. Oh! I see a spooky. Should we, uh, get the drop on it? Yeah, fuck you. Oh. I might have fucked up. Please die. Yes! Okay. Okay. Seems like I should start considering using my uh, melee weapon a little more. These things are hardy. Let's see. Did I come from back here? I'm already confused. Oh, something light over here. Is this Miss Jackson's place? Seems like it. Okay, let's just take a real quick look. See if I missed anything else. What's this car all about? No. Oh, hold up. I'll be taking those. And there's nothing back here. Okay. Still, I'll never complain about finding a couple extra stray bullets. Okay, let's get in. Oh! I didn't even notice I was getting dirty. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh yeah, this all looks This all looks good and wholesome. Nothing to worry about in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope. Die. 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 Woo! Okay. That guy came right the fuck out of nowhere. Bullets. Very nice. I'm into this so far, I must say. I have no damn idea. I think, actually, um... Wait. Can I not pick up more ammo? Why? Oh, there we go. Um... I actually recently watched the 70s series Kolchak the Night Stalker. And in that one... Oh no, there's, there's no, like, iconic monsters in this franchise, so it's not something I recognize. These guys look very mossy, I feel like, like swamp monsters. Um, in Kolchak the Night Stalker, they talk about a, a kind of like Cajun boogeyman called Paramel Fay, which is sort of like a swamp boogeyman that comes to get you if you're being bad. They kind of look like those, and I guess it makes sense for being in a New Orleans. At least, as far as I can gather. Uh-oh. Oh! 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 Whoa! I'm gonna need to... Fuck! Okay, they break. Weapons break. Now I know that. That is less than awesome. I don't love that. Shit. Please die. Oh my god. 
Okay, melee weapons can break. That's... Not what I wanted to hear today. Ah, oh, crap. God damn it. Ow. Shit. 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 Oh, man. Boy, they like lurking right around corners, huh? Jesus. What is this? A juju. Okay. Oof. Okay, there's something I can throw. I'm gonna have to learn that eventually, but right now I'm not really dealing with them. Uh huh. There's gonna be something right behind this door now. Well, now I'm definitely, like, paranoid. Because clearly these things can come right the fuck out of nowhere at any moment. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Why would you recognize this? Have you been here before? Hmm. Well, I will say, having played the original trilogy, they're already playing on a lot of things that were interesting about it. Because uh, the second game had a lot of voodoo stuff. And combining that with the 1920s setting, eh, makes sense to me. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Is it complete, though? Hmm. In between, there are doors. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving on the numbers look and the numbers what no the engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old but the base could be from antiquity the polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of a hiding a, of hiding a picture within itself okay that's interesting take the talisman back to deserto sorry Dercetto. i keep saying deserto which is incorrect See if there's anything else in here that we need. Can't open that door. Okay. Hmm. Any other mysterious artifacts in here I'm gonna need? Uh, do I not have the key for this? Apparently not. Okay. I guess we just go back out and head back to watch their setup. I think it's meant for the talisman. All right, so pop it in. Oh, switch disc or rotate? What do you mean switch disc? I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Hmm. Okay. Look for the number coordination in Jeremy's schematics. Ah, okay. Talisman with black sunstone. I need to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory. I don't remember seeing this, but okay. Um, boo -boo -boo. Need to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. 358. Alright. So. 3. Oh, 5. And 8. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? It looks like a carpet. Huh. Okay. Don't know if I feel awesome about this. Detective. Oh! I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. Is this Dr. Gray? I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. I mean, understandable. Here we go. 
Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. So we were in New Orleans, I was right. Enjoying the Vieux Carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. <laughs> Can you be a little less story, condescending, Bob. my man? Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell you me drop the attitude for one. Hartwood. Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? No, don't bother. Maybe I have like six flasks on me. <laughs> oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. <laughs> Having low like that. standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. This guy's a douche. I wouldn't want to go into is details my, about his Are my clothes still covered in blood and Dr. he's just not reacting to it? I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Don't mind my tie this. clipping through my clothes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple set. Just answer my questions, you fuck. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly... Worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Huh. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping <laughs> He's for very some honest at least. Where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. That must be why yeah, the I maid tried to kick you out. Earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. You're not gonna bother go. asking me about all the blood on my, sure on my we'll shirt? No? Okay. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Mm -hmm.